Hey there, my name is Lexi and thank you so much for joining me for another video. In this video, it's kind of a rant slash talk and something that will hopefully be motivational for you because it's inspired from real life events. Um, I had an argument with somebody earlier and the person I was supposed to be arguing with, I wasn't, we were actually having a very civilized conversation. It was somebody else. It was somebody else who wasn't necessarily supposed to be in the conversation who I ended up having an argument with persons yelling at me cursing at me making all these accusations and I don't know for some reason I felt that it would be a good opportunity to make it a teachable moment because for me I didn't feel offended by anything that was said and I just have to put this out there. I thank God that I don't take things personally because I am so, I'm an empath. I'm very empathetic with people and I'm able to understand that sometimes when people get in an argument with you or they're yelling, screaming at you and saying crazy things about you to you that you know are not true, I'm able to see that there's a deeper issue there. There's a deeper reason why this person is saying the things that they're saying. Um, and so I just think it's a teachable moment and I thought it would be something that would be really great for my Lex Cares 2 page and something that would be, you know, that's something that is close to my heart. People who are hurting and who need to heal but maybe don't know how to heal or don't know where to go, where to turn to, take my shoes off because I'm at home now. I want to be comfortable while I do this video. And hopefully this video is not too long. I hope it's something that'll be relatable, something that'll be helpful either for you or maybe somebody that you know. So please feel free to share the video. And yeah, I guess let's just get into it. Um, I wrote down some notes that will hopefully help me to stay on topic. And oh no, the sun. Yeah, but hopefully the notes will help me to stay on topic and get out everything because I kind of wrote down stuff that popped into my head from this argument and different realizations that I had or a few realizations that I had. So in the argument, this person accused me of being a bitch, not having friends um, and complaining about everything all the time. Apparently they, man, I don't know how much I should put in this video. I want to protect the privacy of this person, but at the same time, I need it to be a teachable moment. Um, hmm. I haven't really done this before. Well, I have done this before. It didn't end well because the person it was inspired by didn't like that I was doing it because they felt it was all about them instead of taking it as a teachable moment. But honestly, if it helps somebody, then who cares, whatever. To protect the privacy of the people who inspired this video, I'm just gonna be very vague about why the argument started in the first place. Basically just a disagreement. Um, I felt they weren't being considerate of my feelings and the arrangement that was supposed to be in place before all these changes happened, before I was placed in a situation where basically I can't I can't go to anybody or complain about anything without putting my living situation in jeopardy. That's probably the best way I can give you a little bit about why the argument came up without, I guess, infringing upon their right to privacy. Um, so in the argument, this person is yelling and screaming and cursing me out, calling me the B word, um, telling me I don't have any friends. This is why nobody likes me. Um, I don't know. This is why I don't, I'm never at home apparently. I don't know. There were a lot of things thrown around in the argument. And there was one point where, because I'm the type, I'm not going to yell and scream at you. That's just not my style. If you are yelling and screaming at me, I can take that. Because as I said earlier, I understand that there's something deeper going on. I understand that it's not personal to me when you are raising your voice and yelling at me and I'm not coming at you in a disrespectful way but you're yelling and you're raising your voice at me calling me out of my name I handle things like that very well because I understand things on a deeper level I think so 
but what gets me in trouble is I guess my face I like to come off as inviting but when someone is arguing with me and yelling at me I think my face tends to smirk or I tend to smile a little bit it's kind of just like a you know that kind of look um, and I don't mean to be condescending or anything like that it's just I'm literally taking in everything that you're saying and I'm not in my head it's not to make you feel like I'm not taking you seriously or anything um, it's just not my style to be yelling and raising my voice because I don't put that kind of energy out there that being said this person did not like that I did that and it must have been like a trigger because he said oh you're just gonna stand there and smile okay cool and then walked away and I'm like I don't I'm standing here listening to you but why don't you want to talk to me if there is such an issue why can't we have a conversation like adults basically I don't think that's what I said but I did say that we why can't we just we're just talking I'm not doing anything I'm just listening to you so what more do you have to say basically but I don't know I think that little smirk may have triggered something because it caused the name calling and the anger and I noticed throughout this argument that he was saying things that didn't make sense things that I know are not true things that I know are not characteristic of who I am how I am or how I treat people um, so I was just able to realize that there was a lot of projection going on one thing that I want you to take away I'm trying to bring in some lessons without being too ranty too rambling about this with this whole video um, so the first thing I want to point out is if somebody is speaking badly about you the reason why I didn't take it personally is because I know deep down the things he was saying is not true really just as simple as that I had to take inventory of the things that were being said about me and realize that okay these things aren't true about me so who could he be talking about you know you're a bitch I'm a nice person not to sound conceited I hate the way that came off but I'm a nice person I try very hard to I try my best to help people where I can people who come to me saying that they want my help and they need my help I do my best to make sure that I offer myself in that way because that's one way that I like to give back my love language is well the way that I like to express my love to other people is by doing things for them acts of service how do you need me how can I help you what can I do to help the situation so telling me that I'm the B word that didn't phase me because I know I'm not that I know how I interact with people that's not my truth that's something that was being projected onto me <clears throat> nobody likes you you have no friends that was another accusation another thing that was thrown at me I meant to sting me but it kind of just rolled off my shoulder rolled off my back why because I do have friends I may not see my friends often as often as maybe this person sees his friends but I do have friends so I couldn't take anything to heart that he was saying because I found none of my truth in it now I did start to wonder okay those things aren't true about me so who is he talking about because that doesn't pertain to my life that doesn't pertain to my character so when somebody is arguing with you and they're throwing stuff like that make sure that you're not engaging in the whole yelling and screaming war because when you argue with a fool you end up looking foolish yourself so all that to say make sure that when you're in an argument with somebody that you are taking in what they're saying and filtering it as if you know okay I'm gonna hear this person out I hear what you're saying I understand what you're saying is there any truth in this that as it pertains to me is this true is this true this is not true because that's not true because and if you really just take a little bit of time to you don't even have to respond in my opinion you can just take everything in which and that's also gotten me in trouble in past relationships because people think I'm nonchalant I'm literally just taking in all the information that you're giving me I'm very slow to respond because I don't want to say something in the moment that's going to hurt you if I say that I care about you I'm going to hold my tongue until I have all the information I need to be able to make an informed decision on how to respond so that's you know a little sidebar as to how I am but when you're arguing with somebody don't go back and forth don't raise your voice don't stoop to their level and call them out their name just because that's what they're doing to you 
For some people, I know it's very hard. For me, that's just my personality not to fight. I don't like confrontation. I don't like speaking out of turn and I don't like giving bad energy to people. So that's just in my character automatically to not spew that out. I can handle when somebody's coming at me with negative words without losing my cool. I'm a very chill person. I have an even temperament, so I haven't had any issues with that. Unfortunately, people think that's nonchalant, but it's not. Um, but anyway, try to take in all the information. Does it relate to me? If not, okay, why would this person be saying these things? Well, maybe there's something deeper going on there. Maybe this person is actually talking about themselves. Maybe they're expressing something that they don't like, something that maybe they're going through, but they have, they don't seem to have a solution for themselves, so they project that onto you. Um, one of the points that I wanted to bring out, one of the notes I made basically, is when people have nothing to attack, they'll project their issues and their insecurities onto you. So take away from that, don't take things personally because it's not always about you. And it's very important to keep this in mind when you're, when you're involved in confrontation or an argument with somebody. A lot of the times, unless you are genuinely at fault, a lot of the times, whatever they're spewing out at you, whatever they're saying, it has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. So try to be empathic. Try to be empathetic and think about where they're coming from, why this is coming off the way it's coming off. Because it's probably not even about you. They're probably just unsatisfied with something in their lives and they feel frustrated because maybe they're having a tough time fixing the problem or they don't have a solution. So they project it and they take it out on the people around them, which is not cool. And the reason why I think he was doing this is because he kept saying, and she kept saying for the most, it's two people, two people, a girl and her boyfriend. They kept saying, um, accusing me of basically, oh, uh, we know you don't like him. I know you don't like him. Oh, I know you don't like me. I'm like, I don't know enough about you to dislike you. What I don't like is this situation that we're in because, you know, y'all haven't been talking to me and I haven't been saying anything because I'm trying not to ruffle any feathers. But basically what was happening on top of projecting all those insecurities and issues onto me they kept saying oh nobody likes me I know you don't like me nobody likes me nobody nobody's helping me so here's another lesson in that I think it's the law or a rule of attraction what you give energy to that same energy is coming back to you. Whether you're putting out positive energy or negative energy, whatever energy you're putting out, that's the kind of energy that's coming back. So when you constantly say, nobody likes me, you don't like me, how do you think that's coming off to the people around you? People are feeling, mm, maybe I don't like you, or maybe there's something off about this person because you know you might be attracting those energies to you because you keep telling yourself, nobody likes me. So I want you to be careful about what you think about yourself and the things that you say out loud because i truly believe and this is not just from self-help books that talk about it um what is it the secret talks about it law of attraction and all of that you will get back what you put out if you constantly say that nobody likes you you're gonna keep running into people who don't like you so put out some positive energy or at the very least because i made notes about this so i want to make sure i get it right if you keep telling yourself, no one likes me, everybody hates me, guess what? That's exactly the kind of energy and experiences you'll always attract to yourself. So change the way you think of yourself and change what you say about yourself. Even if you don't feel like speaking positively, try to make it a point to only speak positivity out loud. Now, of course, allow yourself to feel anything that's making you feel bad about yourself or that's making you feel depressed, but find the root of why you feel that way. So that was a lesson that I got from that or a takeaway and I hope that I hope will help you. If you speak ill, ill will come to you. If you speak life, life will come to you. So, and I'm not saying that you can't feel things because you very much need to be able to feel things but don't let how you're feeling affect those around you. But more so on a grand scale, feel those things. Give yourself the time 
to feel everything and don't just go through the motions i should say but don't just go through the motions make sure you're finding the root of why you feel the way you do because if you just allow yourself to keep feeling angry you're just angry all the time what's the root cause of that i read in a book somewhere that if someone is expressing anger the deep-rooted issue deals with some kind of sadness some kind of pain some kind of hurt so if you're walking around angry what are you hurt about what has you feeling the way that you do you got to be honest with yourself and it's not pretty it's definitely not pretty because i went through it in a past relationship where i had to really allow myself to feel everything and i had to be brutally honest with myself about why i was feeling certain things and basically just identify the roots of all these issues and that was when i was able to say okay this is why i'm feeling this way because that happened is this something that i like about myself or is it something that I don't like about myself? If it's something I don't like about myself, what am I going to do to change it? If it's something I do like about myself, I'm going to keep it and hold on to it for myself. Hold on to it for me because that's a quality that I want to build upon. If it's something that I don't like, how am I going to get rid of it? What can I do to make sure that this is not a problem for me and it's not going to cause issues in my interactions with others and how I think about myself, how I feel about myself? Because when you identify root problems and you determine your strengths and your weaknesses, the things that make you stronger, the things that hurt you and in turn hurt others, then you can become a better person, a happier person. Um, and honestly, sometimes you won't always be happy, but at least you will know you will know what's going on. I always tell myself, and this is from another book actually that I read, if you identify the problem, it loses its power because now you know how to attack it right so identify what's wrong and now you can figure out how to attack it from there what else do i have on these little notes here <sighs> so on the flip side i say that you should only speak out loud positively only speak positivity out loud the way that i'm speaking audibly for you to hear me and trying to speak life into you i said that you should speak out loud right only positive things but allow yourself to feel those things. So I'm gonna flip it. If you want to speak badly, if you wanna speak ill, I would actually encourage you to do so. Allow yourself to talk about all your problems as much as you want. You know what I hope happens though? I hope you talk about your problems so much that you get tired of yourself. Maybe you'll get so tired, you'll actually start talking about solutions instead of problems. Or maybe you'll just shut up. <laughs> That's what I have written on my paper here. So one of two things is going to happen. You're going to keep talking about your problems. Problems are going to keep happening. You're going to keep talking about your problems. Problems keep happening. Damn, I'm tired of all these problems. Well, guess what? All you talk about are problems. So all you get are problems. So you'll either keep having that happen and be quiet. Or you can start flipping your conversation into something positive let me talk about my solutions. How can I solve this issue? And you know what I think is going to happen? When you start thinking about solutions versus all the problems, when you think about all the great things that are happening to you right now instead of all the bad things, then what you have that is good will grow and it will flourish because you're giving energy to it. So if you start thinking about your solutions, you start talking out loud about your solutions, solutions will come to you. And there will be ways to get out of your negativity. There will be ways to get out of your funk. And I think you will truly find a happier existence in deciding to focus on solutions rather than problems. So that's that's what I think will happen. You'll either talk about it, get tired of it and shut up. Or you'll talk about it, get tired of talking about it. And then talk about something more positive. Talk about how you can fix whatever the issue is. Um... And then going back to the whole point of, oh, nobody likes me, um, everybody hates me. I'm going to tell you what I told this person. Um, you have a community. Stop saying that people don't like you because that's not true. And if it is true, maybe you need to get from around those people who you feel don't like you. Why are you in that environment in the first place? Get out of that environment. There are people in this world who want to help you, who will help you, but you have to do the work of reaching out 
and asking for help. It's a very vulnerable thing to do. And I understand that it's very hard because you don't want to be judged. You don't want people to think you're weak. You don't want people to think that you don't have it all together. You need to stop with all those with all those labels you keep putting on yourself, with all those pressures you keep putting on yourself. You cannot solve the problem if you never acknowledge that there is one in the first place. You hear all these 12 step programs, 10 step program, five step program. The first step is usually recognition. Same thing goes for if you're feeling like, you know, you don't have anybody. That's not really how I wanted to connect that, those two thoughts, but basically what I want to say is if you feel like you're surrounded by people who don't like you, get away from those people. Find people who do like you. Find people who will help you. Find people who will uplift you and build you up. You cannot heal in the place that has hurt you. You cannot find your healing in a place that has caused you pain. So get out of that environment and go find some people who are about leveling up Find some people who are on a more positive wavelength, who are on a more positive mindset than even you are, because it's good to have a good circle. It's good to have a circle of influence who will who will um, have that good energy brush off onto you so that you can be more positive so that you can start to grow. So use your community. You have to open yourself up, though, and you have to believe that not everyone is out to get you. People do want to help, you just don't want to accept it. It's very lonely to not have help. And you need to stop being afraid of being judged. If someone judges you and they're judging you wrongly, guess what? There's billions of people on this planet. Just because that one person judged you, that doesn't mean that everybody else is going to judge you. So go find somebody who's not going to judge you. It really is that simple. These things are very simple, but... I don't know, simple things seem to be hard for humans, don't they? <laughs> so you have, what resources do you need? Like what, once you start thinking about these solutions, and once you start talking to people, people will bring solutions to you as well. But the thing about this community, you have to be vulnerable enough to share your issues and your problems and to open yourself up to, hey, something is wrong, I need help. You first got to open that door because if you don't, no matter who wants to help you, you'll never be in a position to want to receive that help. So that's the first thing you got to do. Be vulnerable enough, be willing to be vulnerable to open up and actually talk to people. And then you'll start to see solutions come up or the people that you're talking to, if they're the right people, they will start to give you solutions or at least help you brainstorm some ways to turn your life around. Um, I write, I wrote here, use your community, talk to people, find solutions. People in your community have resources that you need. Use those resources. Use your community. We're not meant to be in this world alone. And I think a lot of issues that we have is because we feel like we're alone. <laughs> to put it in a more blunt way, I guess, a little more rude, we think we're special. We're, we think we're the only ones going through certain problems but no, there are many people going through the same issues as you. You would know those people. You would know how to get out of those issues if you would seek these people out, if you would open yourself up to talk about it. And if you would willingly drop your expectations of judgment and just see what happens when you talk to people about possibly changing. Yeah, I think that might be a good way to end it. Um, so if you're arguing with somebody, don't take it personally. Try to be understanding. Try to understand that there is hurt deep down in there somewhere or there's anger or there's sadness somewhere down in there. It's not all about you. If someone is coming at you to say, if someone's coming at you and they are accusing you of things or they're, they're telling you da 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 da, yelling, yelling at you and raising your voice and all that, it's not about you. If you fact checked and you've you know reflected within yourself to say, all right, this isn't true, so who are they talking about? Don't take it personally when you're in an argument and somebody's throwing stuff at you. Think instead, okay, why are they saying that? What's going on with this person? That'll help you keep more understanding with them and that'll make it so that you're not adding to the fire and having that constant friction and constant clash. There opens That opens up a door for understanding. Um, what else did I say? 
Stop thinking that you're alone because you're not. Change the way that you think about yourself. Change the way you speak about yourself. Change the things that you audibly put out into the universe. But on the flip side, make sure that if you are feeling a certain way, don't be afraid to explore why it is you're feeling that way. Don't be afraid to try to look for that root issue and try to chop that thing up, get it out. Is it helping me? Is it hurting me? Build what's helping you, get rid of what's hurting you. And yeah, the last lesson, you're not alone. Stop saying nobody likes you. People want to help you, but you have to open yourself up to receive that help. Drop your guard, be open, be vulnerable, and that's when that true healing is gonna come. So um, I don't really know what to call this yet, but I do hope that this talk helps you in some way. I hope that it gives you a different perspective on how to handle certain things. Um, and I just wanted to share with you how I, my thought process after the argument, because I think it'll help people be able to better relate to one another. And I hope that is exactly what you are able to do after having watched and or listened to this video. So my name is Lexi. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this talk and if you want to hear more videos see if you want to hear or see more videos like this then give me a big thumbs up and also leave any suggestions or comments in the comment section down below if you're going through it let me know what's up if you want me to talk about a topic other than music or engineering you want something personal then we can do that because i want to part of what i want to do is build a community of people who are honest with ourselves and we want to seek healing to become better people so if you want that like comment, subscribe, let me know what's up. Hit the notification bell next to the subscription button so you can be notified each and every time I post a new video. And yeah, just thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this video helped you and I hope to help you more in the future. You need only be open to accepting that help, all right? My name is Lexi, peace.